a shooting Friday at a church during a funeral. We want to make sure and talk about these things. I want to make sure you and your team know about this stuff. So share it. Let's get right to uh, the details here in this for this discussion. It was Friday, 2 p.m. Uh, Demetrius Carter tried to get into a funeral. Now, this was a funeral for a young man, apparently had been a victim of a car wreck and was killed during a car wreck. Uh, Demetrius is trying to get into the funeral at the church and they refuse to let him come in for whatever reason. Uh, and he's made complaints that that was his little son. And so uh, his little son was killed and he was trying to attend the funeral. And when they refused to let him come in, he went out and began shooting in the parking lot. Just sounds like right away. And uh, then all of a sudden, everybody else comes out of the woodwork. It sounds like another vehicle pulled up with several people in it. They get out and start shooting. And now two different groups are starting to shoot at each other across the parking lot out in the street. Police said there was at least three different guns involved was one of the official reports. Sounds like there was plenty more than that, though, going on. Uh, and so they're still sorting through the details. Residences, houses nearby, buildings, cars in the parking lot had bullets. Uh, they were struck by bullets. When police arrived, they said that there was as many as 50 people took off running from the parking lot in the front of the church area. Uh, now, police say the shooting was gang-related. It sounds like that. I mean, it seems like a pretty obvious gangs, gangs violence situation. And but only one person was reported struck by gunfire, interestingly enough. And that's the initial shooter. Demetrius Carter was apparently struck in the fo forearm. Uh, there was some people that uh, were apparently have fell down. Somebody got hurt from falling down. Somebody had a seizure. But it sounds like Demetrius was the only one that was actually struck by gunfire. So police are still investigating and uh, definitely an interesting situation. And, you know, I think we should be talking about these things when we have funerals or we when they're coming to our church, we should be discussing why is there why are we having this funeral? Why was the person killed? Is it gang related? Then we should be talking about having beefed up security, armed security folks, armed security, uniformed guards police asking for police patrols and police presence i think some of that is very important for us to look at i don't know about you but if i lived around this church depending on the area sounds like they may be riddled with gang violence and but you know it's it's not a good uh, look for our church to be having these issues and we're not trying to take care of them as far as i'm concerned that's my opinion totally about this so i hope you'll share this with your group I hope you'll have a couple discussions about it, what we could do to improve this situation if a funeral like this was coming to our church. So take a look at this next video. I hope that you'll continue to watch, like, and subscribe to our channel.